Okay, very excited. The one and only Sarah Silverman is here. How are you? I'm great. How you doing? Good. Love the dress. Yes. Look, there's the whole <laughs> tool and crinoline and all doing sorts thing. of things happening underneath here. We love it. Yeah. All right. So tell us what it went for you. What would make tonight the best night ever? Uh, it just goes smooth and uh, my ribs stop hurting <laughs> and I don't I did throw up this morning I've been gagging brushing my teeth lately I don't know what this thing what? is happening I don't know Ooh. but you have to brush every tooth <laughs> such a struggle every single one so the list it's an, it's an attainable list my struggle it. someone should write a book in German called my struggle <laughs> what do we call it it would be a bestseller yeah. huh? <laughs> Oh, it would. Yeah. You know, can we talk about the success of your show? The idea that you are willing to reach out across the divide and go and interview and speak with people who may not have the same political views as you, but you're determined to meet them where they are. It's so special and so valuable. So thank you for that. Was that, a, was that tough for you? Are there moments when you're having conversations with people who have ideologies that do not speak or in any way aligned with yours and you have to just take a deep breath and say, yeah. <laughs> it's in the moment it isn't. It's because one, the like broken part of me is that I want people to like me. You know, I want strangers to like me. That's so why I'm a comedian. And that works in this because no matter who they are, there's a messed up part of me that wants them to like me. And then we connect. And I like people. I do. And, and um, when you're face to face, it's different. You know, we. I, I don't, we don't kind of tend to leave changing each other's minds, but I feel like we both are open after, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like that's half the battle, uh, you know, I, so. What's the biggest misconception? Not, I know we're not trying to be super heady here, whatever, but biggest misconception that maybe you had going into filming some of these things that was maybe changed for you after meeting and interacting with people? Well, without going into specifics, I would say that it's natural when I know I'm going to, like I went to Wyoming and, and, and spent, had family dinner with a family of very conservative Republicans and, um, you know, I'm on their turf. But for both of us, they know I'm coming. I know I'm going to be there. And your, our brains make preconceived notions because that's what the human brain does when they don't know yeah. what to expect. They fill it with what they know. Right. And always those are not exactly accurate. And then you have to be open and go, oh, it's a little bit different than what I thought. And for them too. And as long as we, whenever I leave, uh, we hug, we embrace, we kiss, I play with their kids. And it's just a little different. There used to be a time when Republican and Democratic senators would play golf and yes. you know spend time with each other's families and stuff. And it's not that way anymore. But to me, there's a difference between people, between the liars and the people who are just believe it, believing the liars, the yeah. lied too. So I see it differently. Yeah. I still yeah. believe in t speaking truth to power. Sure. You know, I well have put. a lot of views, yeah. but. Well put. In these polarized times, the one thing that does bring all of us together is television. What are you binge watching? I am on episode five of what might be my new all-time favorite show, Killing Eve. Oh, I am, yeah. can't wait to get home and watch more. If you see Sandra tonight, Sandra O, oh, Sandra O, oh, did you see her yet? I saw her from afar, and I just, I didn't, I couldn't even approach. <laughs> I couldn't. Not gonna happen. Okay, finally, before we let you go. Also, Castle Rock. I have one more episode. Yeah. So Castle good. Oh, so my God. God. Oh, my God. So I good. Say, it's like when people go, should I watch it? I go, well, I don't know what you like. I love it. Well, I love it, too. It's not for everyone, but it's for me. I keep I worrying know. that it's not going to resolve enough, but we'll find out what happens. Well, yeah. Okay, don't spoil anything. I don't know yet. Final thing. What are you most excited about that's coming up for you? Uh, it's crazy that I'm here on a Monday. It's a work day. All I'm thinking about, all I work on is I love you, America. But yeah. there's nothing I'd rather be doing. Then after that, I do some Wreck-It Ralph 2 stuff, which I also love. Woo. That's awesome. fantastic. Thank you well, so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you so much for being so here. So good to talk to you. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, y'all. See you later. Let me help you down. There we go. Okay.